In this problem, we have a 50 kilogram uniform crate that's sliding along this inclined surface from rest. We know the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the inclined surface, that is uh, 0 0.15. And we need to determine the distance the crate has moved two seconds later. This distance is also along the inclined surface. And also we're assuming tipping over does not happen. So because we know this crate starts moving from rest, uh, in order to determine the distance, we need to find out its acceleration. From, and then we can solve for the distance from kinematics. And then to determine its acceleration, we apply Newton's second law. So we need to first do a force analysis. Therefore, we start with the free body diagram of the crate. It's subjected to weight force, W equals to mg, which is 50 times 9.81, and that is 490.5 Newton. And it's also subjected to normal force that is perpendicular to the inclined surface. And uh, because movement is in this direction, therefore frictional force is in this direction, because friction always tries to resist the movement. So now we've completed the free body diagram, and uh, we need to also draw a kinetic diagram. The movement is, again, along this, along this direction, therefore it if we can actually represent the crate as a point because as a particle because tipping over does not occur therefore we can assume this crate to be a particle therefore its acceleration is along this direction and um, that's my m times a okay so that's the kinetic diagram of this uh, crate so for this for this problem for convenience, we can set up our x direction to be in this way, and then our y direction to be in this way. There's no movement along the y direction. Uh, there's only a motion along the x direction. So now we can start write our equations of motion. Uh, let's do the resultant force along the y direction first. So this is my positive direction. This direction is perpendicular to the inclined surface. So along this direction, we have normal force. And we also have a component from the weight. So this component right here, and that is towards the negative y direction, and that is w times cosine theta. In this case, theta is 30 degree. So this equals to normal force minus 490.5 times cosine 30 degree. And along the y direction, it does equal to zero. There's no mo movement along the y direction. So from here, we can solve for the normal force. Normal force equals to 424.8 Newton. And then resultant force along the x direction. Resultant force along the x direction, this is a positive x. We have this component from the weight, and that equals to W times sine theta, as well as along the negative x direction, we have the frictional force. So W times sine theta equals to 490.5 times sine 30 degree. Now in this case, you are already told that we have kinetic friction. The frictional coefficient is 0 0.15. Therefore, the frictional force simply equals to mu k times normal. Therefore, for here, F, uh, FF equals to 0 0.15 times normal force, which is 424.8. And this does not equal to zero because there is motion along the x direction. Ac according to our kinetic diagram, this equals to ma, which equals to 50 times a. So from here, we can solve for a. a equals to 3.631 meter per second squared. This is still not the final answer. We recognize that this acceleration is a constant because during this process, none of the force changes. Therefore, we can apply the kinematic equation for constant acceleration, motion with constant acceleration. So that equals to um, S equals to SO plus VOT plus one half AC T squared. Don't forget SO is a zero. There's no in the initial uh, position can be assumed to be zero, and then 
initial velocity is zero. So this is simply equals to one half times constant acceleration, 3.631 times t is two second squared. And this equals to 7.26 meter. And that is the answer to this problem.